Hi guys, this tutorial is about a date picker which is from the jQuery UI. So guys, for this, first we initialize, have to initialize a jQuery and jQuery UI dot js. So guys, here I'm using a bootstrap. So I have also initialized a bootstrap dot main dot css. After that, I have initialized a jQuery dot css, which is a very important and then jquery dot min dot js and the jquery ui dot js is also included here but guys we have to ensure one thing that jquery ui dot js is always after the jquery dot min dot js so let's start guys first we have to see in the browser as you see as you see nothing is shown here so for a date picker first we have to need a input field here input field here and when we focus on it it opens a date picker so let's do it here we go first add some title to the base that is a date picker sorry a date picker then add a input field to it input allocate type is equal to text i am using a bootstrap so i am adding a bootstrap class also here that is a form control and add some class by which we initialize our date picker let to give it some name like date picker demo So let's see in the browser refresh the page and you can see that here a simple input field is created but when we focus on it it opens nothing. So to make a date picker we have to initialize a date picker function to open a date picker when we focus on a input. So let's create it here you need to add a simple function like this. Here I'm going to initialize a date picker by a class name that we give it above. Let's copy the name and paste it. You can also initialize a date picker by a ID. So now bind it with the date picker. Sorry. Bind it with the date picker. And here we can write our parameters that we need for the date picker let's study it later first see the browser so when we click on it now it opens a date picker when we click on it opens a date picker and when we click on a date it shows a date on the input field so guys here you can see that the date format is the month day and the year we can change it we can change the date format also for this we can change from the parameter that is the date format by using this we are able to change the date format let's do it a day month and here here we go let's see what happens i click on the 17 so it show in the format day month and the year you can change it also like as year month and the day save it refresh the browser click on the input field click on the date and you can see that now the date format is the year month and the day and I'm going to use the format like this day month and year here we go guys you can also change the slashes between them 
if you want to hyphens you can also change it from here let's do it once here we go refresh the page you can see that hyphens are added instead of the slashes you can also add a space between them But I am going to use here a slashes and the date format day month in the year. Here you can see that it's working very fine. So guys it's a very easy to make and it's very effective to use in our web page. So I hope you can learn from it. Thanks guys. Keep watching, sharing and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks guys.